one what of about the, the Miz? Best was Miz in ever. Marine Four or one of them? He was in three of them, I think. Uh, yeah. and mm-hmm. I think Miz has claimed ownership of it in Marine. I think he is well, the Marine. He's real. I love Miz. Road Miz better. <laughs> Cena <laughs> will always yeah. be the Marine, I mean, my no, friend. No, no. Miz talks about how good he was as the Marine. Yeah, I mean, but Cena was a Marine. Correct. And then he starred in it. John Triton. I know. I mean, wait, John Cena was a Marine? Yeah, 180 yeah. confirmed kills. Yeah, for Come China. On. Well, like three, three they don't have he wasn't Marines, a commie dude. spy. He just enjoyed living in China. Listen, okay. I don't know the actual answer to this because it's been taken too seriously, but I don't think he is an actual He announced Marine. the death of Bin Laden. He did. I do remember that. Ladies and, and gentlemen. If he was playing a veteran, <laughs> he would be the right person to do it. Thank yeah, God. But I'm not 100% sure <laughs> he didn't make that announcement in the place. 180 confirmed kills? Yeah. Is that yeah. what Diggs said? Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen Behind Enemy Lines? That's basically what his tour was like. 90 were fucking he face to face. Wilson? 90 were from over two miles away with a 50 Kyle <laughs> I heard it was with a pistol from two miles away either right. way could see him throwing a pistol knife in the back I'm not sure any of this happened I just want to I don't I don't think any of this is true but <laughs> with that being legends. said I mean that season two of that show was going to be really it's gonna good be awesome. it's going to be really good um, it is to be treated like a sword though I watched a couple highlight reels of people wielding this thing there's some talented motherfuckers. There's a double end in one of these, like an armadillo yeah. thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it, I mean, it was full. Bah, 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 bah. The old double header? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You give one of those things to like a LARPer, and they will absolutely dice yeah. people. Slice and dice. Yeah. I've seen those in a couple of movies, and I have happened upon a park where something was going down on the other side, and I've seen a lot of costumes. Yeah, it looks sick. Tony's yeah. seen a few of those. Really? Do you go to furry conventions? Or? I don't know. I, I assume there's something coming, but I don't. LARP is You're sick. talking about two people. Using a double header together, jamming, jamming it together. <laughs> oh, I have. Yes. Is that what we're talking about? In no. A we're we're talking about LARPing. LARPing, live action role play games, dude. LARPing, role yeah. models. <laughs> you were sorry, I don't know what that means. <laughs> you couldn't wait to get old double donger mm-hmm. out of your mouth as soon as, <laughs> as soon as it his face. Yeah, <laughs> double, so head, yeah. double header, Made not double weak. donger. He's so proud of himself. Oh yeah, okay. I mean, I believe me, I yeah. Before we sign off here, can you? Lumber around the stage real quick, like Carson. I ain't doing it. Like if he was fighting with a lightsaber this or is something. Post. <laughs> so you larping. Him and Ben. That's my favorite when you lumber what, around like well, ben the same Carson. People. <laughs> Carson, whenever he's got two sprained ankles off of one play, you know, bopping around. <laughs> <laughs> Saw it in half. Saw it in half. And then on the next play, he'll break this fucking thing in half. Uh huh. Somehow. I think that's just how it goes. What about Ben when he runs out of the tunnel for the last time? <laughs> <laughs> he does have like a quite a little like little shuffle out there. Oh yeah. It's because you got to remember like their joints are so beat up at yeah. this point. Mm-hmm. So beat up. It's just like how do I lumber through this thing? But whenever the push comes to shove, they can, you know, they the adrenaline drives them. Yeah. But they're just trying to make it from A to B, A to B. And if he wouldn't have played, like, what, 99% of the snaps, even though he broke every yeah. bone in his body, we would have had number one overall pick this year. Probably got a wide receiver up there. Yeah. yeah. But it's all good. Don't worry about it. Carson's stuff. This is awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, Mike, I like the horse table, but as we all know, it's only, you know, the horse's third career start, and no horse has won the Kentucky Derby on their third career start since 1883. Do you think I should just place it to show, or should I go all the way and take her to win? Show bet? Do any of the men in your family gamble? Oh! Oh! He's dead! He's dead! He is dead! Oh, my God. All right. Thank you so much, Mike. <laughs> Appreciate you, man. Can't wait to see you hey, thanks, tomorrow. You're the uh... best. But if this was any other sport and somebody that, that is that big of an underdog ends up being dominant. By the way, catching up and being dominant and then starts biting humans and other uh, players and things like that, people be like, well, that's not a saying horse right there. No. Maybe bath salts. That's what I'm saying. Maybe. Maybe smoking some spice. See, I assumed the guy who worked for Churchill Downs, who uh, Dick Strike bit, was like uh, Sean William Scott in old school, yeah. like before oh, yeah. went in the sable and was like, the motherfucker. <laughs> was like, yeah. you know, grabbing his thing. So yeah, he was 80 like, to one. This, you ain't never going to be nothing. Exactly. Uh-huh. So he was like, all right, I'm going to go out there. I'm going to win. And then I'm going to try to bite this fucking guy's <laughs> arm off. I'm going to find him and bite his arm off. Yeah, his legs well. Yeah. They did, Morse 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 they did this in the 70s, too. With, I think it was Voyager. They just stuck a couple pictures like that on there, shot them out there. Hey, hey if you find it and you can decide. Like a this. Polaroid? Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Isn't that, gonna get, isn't that just going to get disintegrated up there? 
<laughs> Maybe. You run the risk, sure. So we put out on a piece of paper. Is that a 3D printer? Or what are we doing? Who are we? It's on what? an iPhone. They, they shoot the iPhone up there and people... They're going to think we're so dumb. Through. This looks yeah. like our 1955 like, uh, digital media. What, why don't we send in some 4K shit? Hey, we got 8K cameras down here. Everybody needs to shut up out there. Well, that's what I said. We're better off just sending up like a DVD of Pam Anderson <laughs> sucking off Tommy Lee. And, you know, <laughs> maybe they'll say, hey, I'll have what he's having. Let's, Let's go, go down there. there. Let's go. <laughs> Is that what we're trying to do? Yeah. What, what, what are we doing? Here? Right. Do they want him to have, like what? Feels like the right move the whole. Yeah, way. I understand. But is that the reason why they're recruiting aliens? Is is NASA thinking like Ty? Is that what's going what if on? They don't have a DVD player. Well, <laughs> these, I mean, and they don't know the Pythagorean theorem. No, but this. How are they assuming that they were able to see this though with whatever technology they have? And isn't their technology like light years ahead of ours? Maybe. What? So why? Maybe way behind us. Because of how long no, it takes to they, get there. They've already been here. We have. Well, if they're able to hear us, us. They got to be ahead of us, right? Because we can't hear fucking aliens talking to us. Or we, do we got like sonar up there? Like we're listening to fucking whales and dolphins. They're Is also that, sending uh, shortwave radio format messages. Is that this show? Them. What up, dude? Hey! Send it hey! hot pockets in a microwave. Jeez. I mean, if you don't know humans, too, the male has three penises in that little hologram. Like, it, it doesn't make sense. No, those they, are big old balls. No, no, not huge nuts. Yeah, we know that That's because we know humans. If you're not a human. How about the model for this just taking it on the shins right now? <laughs> yeah, it's tough. Maybe listen to the show. <laughs> yeah, right, traps are pretty good. I'm fucking <laughs> serving our fucking <laughs> earth, dude. <laughs> Try to help. Traps, Jesus. His traps are pretty good, though. I didn't want to do this. They forced me to do it, and I'm waving aliens all of a sudden. Yeah, weak kneecaps, though. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. You know, a calf to uh, ankle, not bad, though. Not bad. Like being an athlete. Some what quads. If, here's my thing. Like, what if when it gets to the aliens, bushes are back in? And, like, now we <laughs> sent an inaccurate depiction of yeah. humans on the Earth. Well, that is an inaccurate depiction of us just to begin with. What if everybody, are they going to think we're a blue crew? You know, yeah. like what? Maybe the blue man group did pose for this. They were at the draft. I seen yeah. them at the draft. Rich mm -hmm. Eisen loved it. Uh, am I struggling here, boys, with the Wi-Fi connection? No, you're good right now. Okay. Oh shit! I just fucking hopped back on Wi-Fi. Sorry about that. How am I? I'm I'm butchering the end of this interview here. How am I now? Am I good? No, you're terrible, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. That's it. It's a shame am we I can't good? hear am about. I good? The... Yeah. Am I back? Are you there? Fucking. Biff. <laughs> <laughs> Biz. I just got off the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Biz. Oh. Oh. Biz. Oh. Biz. Okay, I'm back. Yeah. yeah. Hey, way to work through there. Way to battle. Hey. Yeah. Hey, that's that toughness from that hard coaching, Coach Stuthers. That's that hard coaching, getting through adversity there. <laughs> Through the Wi-Fi adversity. Fuck you, Wi-Fi. Yeah. Woo. Imagine if you grew up in the modern era. You would have had that figured out much quicker, but you wouldn't have been able to get through the adversity. No the adversity that you went through right there live on camera. Way to go, baby. Yeah, baby. Way to go. Okay. Just to clarify, you don't chew on pennies. You put it under your tongue, Tony. You can chew on them if you want, though. Still doesn't work. I don't think any of this is going to work, by the way. No, no. I don't think it so. It doesn't. Can we get back to ball? Jesus. I've actually talked to a friend that gave one of them a go. He had a blow and go for the next two years. Oh, <laughs> it didn't work. Yeah, it did not work. He was like, I thought. How do those work? The, the blow and goes. You yeah. got you to pass a test. It's like an unlocking almost. And then you're allowed yeah, you to turn yeah. the keys? or Yeah. No, it's attached to your ignition. It, mm -hmm. yeah. You have to blow under to start. Yeah. Damn. It's like an unlock. Be, and it'll randomly test you. Hey, you got a sober friend. You blow in it, and then you drive home. <laughs> Jesus, <What>? AJ. <laughs> Why wouldn't the sober friend just drive? Okay. What's your problem? Exactly. That's part of the joke. That's from a movie. Okay, my bad. Oh, oh it's from a movie. Yeah, I oh, bet. Dropping movie this lines. Dude, I don't know anybody car? that's ever had a blow in 2022, drive, I... there's no reason to drunk drive. No reason okay, to I, do it. I don't... I am... Highly, highly against it. I think it's. Mm -hmm. I think it's just dumb, actually. Yeah, but you're just telling people who potentially have. I mean, well, you I fall mean, okay, asleep normally I'll be dead too. Serious. I'm sorry. Yeah. What if you've been kicked off of Uber and Lyft and puking <laughs> no in more cars jokes. all the time? <laughs> no more jokes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm sorry about it. Sorry about it. When's Paul Bizanet coming, Pat? <laughs> well, actually, a minute and five seconds. But you're right. The blow and go. The thought of somebody blowing that. There's. Always going to be people that can manipulate any situation. I mean, it's just yeah. always going to be the way it is. You're talking about Rocky. 
I mean, there's a lot of great zoos out in Vegas, right? They could have brought some animals in. Well, I think a lot of people are just zoos out there, Correct. right? Yeah. That kind of the thing. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Oh, it's private ownership. Oh. Are Siegfried and Roy still around? Did they come out? Well, um, uh, no, I think Tiger I don't think so. One. Are they both passed or just one? I believe just one died. Oh, okay. And that one died that. from the Tiger. Yeah, he got mauled oh, pretty good. Yeah, yeah. ripped up. He lived for a while after it, though. Yeah, he survived the tiger attack. Oh yeah, oh, he yeah. drinking out of a, you know, drinking, eating his meals through a straw for the rest of his life, and then. That's what they say: dangerous game playing yeah, with those big cats. Game. Yeah, Joe Exotic was able to survive it. He was. Oh, well, how'd that happen? You know, how, when did people just start buying these massive animals and doing that whole thing? I'd be scared to death. My one cat, Teddy, he gets upset. I get scared. I'm like, all right, that thing can fucking bounce. It's 300 pounds. Yeah. That thing can jump off that wall right there on my head before I even know it. Mm -hmm. These tigers and shit, the more documentaries you watch, why would you fucking ever want to be around? I have no idea. How do they, and it's just a natural thing. I feel like we all learned that through the Tiger King situation. Oh, yeah. Well, and I mean, you can tell too with Joe Exotic, especially like those, everything's good when, you know, they're giving them treats and feeding them meat. If those things ever get pissed off, just like slightly pissed off, they'll fucking grab one of your legs and drag you. Dad. Through the, yeah, exactly. You're done. Who knows the sedatives they're pumping through those things, too, at times? In the meat, you mean? In the animals. I'm saying, like, if they want them to be docile and go in there in a the cage and do little shows, I, I'm sure they give them some stuff at times. Oh, I didn't I'm sure it's not that. legal. I'm sure all of it is like illegal, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're definitely doing that. A couple Xanax. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, a couple of Tiger Xans. Uh -huh. I just want to clarify that uh, both of them have passed away, and not one of them was from the Tiger attack. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I did thought they both. Well, uh, kinda, let's have yeah. a moment of silence for, for Siegfried, please. <coughs> now one for Roy. Let's actually do this one instead of a laugh from Ohio, please. And how about that tiger not killing anybody? Yeah. Huh? Thank you, Tiger. Thank, Thank you, you, Roy. Is the tiger still Cheers. alive? <laughs> the tiger not. said, I don't kill nobody. Just fuck with him a little bit, though. You see what they do? Man, he disappeared all of a sudden. I thought mm -hmm. they beheaded that thing after he attacked Siegfried. Really? Well, I've learned from this. You just can't be in a group because you'll die. Siegfried and Roy are dead. Siskel and Eva are dead. You just can't be in a group. Of, you can't be in a pair of people. Well, it seems like every group's I mean, going to die. Dude Perfect might be worried. Well, hey, hate to break it to Dude Perfect and all of us that are listening right now. Everybody's dying. Fuck. <laughs> I thought we weren't going to have to do this again. Oh, yeah, I did. I thought so, too. Remember that? That was a little day or two I thought that. Mm -hmm. Everybody's dying, though. That's the crazy thing. <laughs> everybody. Everybody's dead, dude. At some, everybody. Do a moment dead. of silence for everybody. Can I bring good news? I don't know if we have enough time. They were 81 and 75. They had a good life. Well, I'm just. <sighs> they could have had a better life. I guess, but literally, no matter what, going to be dead. Can yeah. I bring some sunshine to this rain? I, I don't think that's necessarily rain, but. It is something we need to think about. Yeah, every day. Don't, not every well, morning. Not wow, every day. That's... Every day in the morning. Don't need to do that. Someone don't, you no. love getting shot in the face. It will bring perspective to your life. I'm just what, what are you talking about, Connor? Uh, okay. Oh, AJ. Oh, AJ. Aren't Who you? was that from? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, when we were talking about swearing earlier, I was going to say, if Gary Vee stops swearing, then I'll stop oh. swearing. But he is the one that told me, if you think about one of your loved ones getting shot in the face for five minutes every morning when you're in the shower, mm -hmm. you're going to attack your fucking day better. Listen, and so I do. It has affected you. You, how lo you know how long you've been saying this? That's, yeah. Hey, great job, Gary. Yeah, thank, thank you, you, Gary. Gary. For helping Connor. Now, Change with that being life. said, I, I do not recommend that because that's quite negative. You know, I'm yeah. more of a... Hey, let's go have a good time type thing. But I do believe the conversation of death should be one that is had. Do you not know ride a unicycle? You look like a unicycle guy. Yeah, no, uh, definitely not. You know what I was just thinking though? Have you ever bungee jumped? You no. Yeah. It is so bad. One of the worst experiences of my whole life. Why? It was so, I was like terrified. I don't get scared of anything. I wanted Whoa, to. Tough guy. Right yeah. there. It was awful. You don't get scared of it. You're in your. <laughs> you're literally in your basement all day, every day. Did you do it on spring break off a crane or something? I did it in uh, Switzerland off a gondola, and I oh, thought my feet were going to come out, oh, which no. would have been bad. That's would, awesome, yeah. though, right? Over, on the gondola over the Alps? Pretty sweet. Uh, it was over, like, a big lake or whatever. No, it wasn't awesome. It was no, awful. Water, I thought dude, I would fine. never, like, start breathing again. And Why'd also, you do it? What's that? Why did you do it then? Yeah, I would. I would I, like to do it. I would imagine I'd be very scared. Not fucking up scared. Well, that's the purpose. I thought it would be some great like rush and thrill. The other thing was they don't tell you you're supposed to dive out like a, like you're in a swimming pool. So I just jumped out. So you go all the way down and then just. Oh, you got oh, whiplash! Oh, Jesus! Oh, oh man, you got. 
<laughs> you, you, can't, you can't pencil in when you're strapped to the ankle. Bro, why would you ever <laughs> think that you should go I, I, opposite I no end of where you're attached? <laughs> oh, my. Nobody explained this to me. That had to be. Yeah, like surprising. you didn't break your neck. Yeah, snap in half. As you were jumping, they were probably like, no, 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 no. <laughs> ah, he's fucking, uh, he's dead. Too late. <laughs> uh, absolutely done. You're supposed to be scared, though. That's the purpose of it. You're like, what, 130 pounds, too? The rope is never going to break. Uh, That's what everybody fears, right? Is the rope's going to break. I mean, I thought I, my feet were in boots. I thought the boots would just slip out, and I'd just be like, I'd be one of those things that people kind of write about. You know, like, That's I was there it. when that guy. That's why you went feet first, right? You thought it would, it would help you not slip <laughs> Did out. you think you were going to pogo stick? Did you think? <laughs> tell me. Please tell me, Rap Sheet. You thought you were going to jump down and then be able to have a good enough base. <laughs> And you were going to come back up with the bungee? <laughs> Go all the way back up and <laughs> land on his feet. And then do it again. Is that what you, you know, were going to do? Because the boots, you were so... <laughs> I just, Why doesn't wish... everybody do this? It's a big bogo stick. Is that what you were thinking? I just wish that I had thought. I know, like, rarely does this happen. I had no thoughts in my brain. I acted, and I just was like... Why in the world would I do that? But here we are. I'm still alive, though, which is great. Hey, check it off the bucket list. I've uh, I've done skydiving before, so oh, yeah. I think bungee jump has to happen at yeah. some point. But I'm heavy. You know, I'm heavy. I, that's a scary thing whenever you got weight. Make sure you dive. Head first. Listen, I'm going to let you know there was no fucking chance I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you might be the only human that thought you could pencil your way through that entire thing. What a, hey. We just learned a lot about it. He would yeah. jump off, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a big deal. Hey, that's a big mental thing that not a lot of people could do. Like AJ said, you get up there, you're scared. To, you're supposed to be scared to death. It's whether or not you can, you know, kind of break through that mental toughness a little bit, AJ. One time. Yeah, it's all I, you I probably, Skydiving, I would do. I feel that feels more my speed. See, I did that one time. Never doing that again. No. Uh, <laughs> I thought I was getting my groin sawed off by that strap that is oh. attached to the oh, thing. Yeah, I it was in uh, France, I think, when cow flu came through. Was Ooh, it cow flu? Yeah. Swine? No, no joke. No, mad cow? Mad yeah, mad cow. cow. I think it was mad. I think I was over there when mad cow that happened. That was pretty easy to determine, though. Yeah, but at the time, they were like scared of the food that we were eating, I guess. So oh, it became yeah. a whole conversation. As long as the cow like wasn't fucking swearing at you and shit when you killed it, you could eat it. Well, it was that was fine. the problem. None of us had seen a cow because it was killed and murdered. <laughs> long, yeah, long, long way ago. <laughs> we didn't know if it was a pissed off European cow, though, when we were over there. Yeah. No idea. Was it mad cow would have been whenever I was an adult? What was another? Not as an adult. How's that story? They were feeding cows hamburgers. Yeah, they were fucking yeah. cannibalism. Mm -hmm. Is that real? I think so. So it was incestual meat that was the. I think so. So mad cow was incest cows. Anytime you eat your own species, you become mad, is what they say. That is real. Huh. Cannibalism. Yeah. Like chickens. So, anyways, I really fucked up a lot of things. Nick is right, yeah. yeah, I couldn't have any food over there that had any beef in it because we didn't know if that was an old incest ass cow or not that it came from over there in Europe. Eating Jesus. feed contaminated with parts that came from another cow. God, what Jesus. type of fucking way? Why Some are we people. doing that? Come on. Don't they like, don't they like grass and hay and shit? Oh, yeah. yeah. Farm to table take care of that, right? Cows are eating fucking. Meat? I didn't know cows yeah, were eating know burgers to begin with. Yeah, fucking yeah. grilling them hot dogs and hamburgers. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> <eat them. laughs> Don't they eat hay? I mean, is it that they can't go out on the fucking field? Yeah, they yeah. graze. There's Rome. some sick fucking What are they doing? There, their force dude. Sick cows are fucking the farmer. What is going on? Yeah, maybe once they got a taste, these cows. Listen, I know a couple cow farmers. Okay. Both for dairy and for meat. Sure. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have some follow-up questions. Are you guys fucking feet, like cooking for these cows? What the hell? You guys got steaks? Or, what is this even happening? How did that even begin with? It's not Good right. Good question. Some sick fuck. Probably fuck, You know, probably started with KFC. <laughs> what? Probably started with Wayne Gacy. He was like, what if I fed a fucking cow? Oh, it's out of Waterloo, Iowa. Yeah. You're a sack of shit, Tony. That was just unprovoked. And also, KFC uses chickens, dipshit, not yeah. cows. <laughs> okay? Oh, so, he, so he wasn't doing that. Uh -oh. Uh oh. He did own a cow farm, though. Uh, KFC, delicious food, by the <laughs> very way. Yeah, good. very good. I had it on Sunday. It was good. Another underrated food, Boston Market. Yes. Yeah. Solid meats. Mm -hmm. yeah. More so, right well, yeah. Well, well yeah. I don't know. My fucking turkey sandwich <laughs> on rye was pretty goddamn good. Nobody, you're the first human to ever order that. Yeah, right? was, they got meat smoked for 48 hours in there. Yeah, and the that turkey. is available right next to what you ordered. I'll take the dried deli turkey yeah. and give me the worst bread you got. Yeah. Pumpernickel. Rye. 
pleased? Bro, they had Thanksgiving sitting all around yeah, your yeah. goddamn order. Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> I had never seen a more embarrassing order. They actually said, how do we make a turkey sandwich? They were stunned. Oh, yeah, yeah, the lady had a headset on, and she told the other lady on the other end of the headset that was two feet behind her, and the lady behind her actually turned around like, what? Who ordered that? <laughs> what do you want me to make? Is that the secret menu here? <laughs> it's turkey on rye. Guy ordered meatloaf when we were at a sports bar the one time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't had the loaf in a while. But that, that's not even the case. Sometimes I order good stuff. I ordered nachos one time. I got the fucking crumbs from the bottom of the goddamn oh, yeah, bag. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, and then the next plate that came out were perfect chips. I do not believe poopies will be on this show, AJ. Uh, what, what's happening? He's too busy? They want us to send a blind bid to have him on the show, an appearance I'll fee. I'll do it. Yeah. I got it. Leave that to me. Okay. Are you going to guess what he would wait, accept? For, as- like, wait, it's like an appearance? an appearance fee to come on the show does it matter if we say like hey 15 minutes 20 minutes does that change no it's an appearance fee and it's they would never give away their rates either so they're no. asking us to just oh, set a can rate I do it i'm not, i mean listen i respect poopies a lot yeah i love poopies a lot it's gonna be tough for me to just go into a blind bid when we're dealing with a manager and we don't even know if this guy actually represents poopies or not and is this the same guy that represents poopies when he made negative dollars on jackass like that's a question i have for maybe poopies but i don't think we'll ever get to poopies did we not send him an isley's chip chopped ham sandwich and that wasn't enough yeah i thought he just wanted like a foot long so we did get him two foot longs but that didn't seal the deal his the did guy you tell him they were from the, sandwich artists the guy also basically said what will you be having him do so it sounded like short of like jumping off like a 40-story building he was, <laughs> was kind of in to do anything so, so let's think of what poopy should do well, it's like gonna, he's he's coming on for a performance and appearance, I, not just like an interview. Yeah, and I think we're probably gonna have to fly him out. Mm-hmm. I assume. So we will be paying oh, poopies yeah. for his service. Just didn't like the whole blind bid thing that they asked us to do. It's like, I don't want to disrespect poopies. I know he's in a bad spot. Yeah. If we say twenty five bucks, is that? Yeah. Is he gonna? Is he gonna <laughs> like? Is, if I say five thousand dollars, what will? I don't. I'm not doing this. I'm not playing these games. You've made him no money, I guess, manager guy. So yeah. just tell yeah. us how much. You this is a like. very smart negotiation, though. This is, they don't want to war dogs themselves. No, I understand. If you were uh, like at that level, I think cool. But if you're poopies, okay. I've never really heard of that. I've never really heard of Johnny. putting a blind bid like that. Me yeah. neither. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Me neither. That's why I was kind of. They're in. changing the game. Good for poopies and his manager. <laughs> changing the game. Listen, but the thing is, I would, I would probably overpay whatever they say. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Like that's. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I think whatever you would send over, they'd be very, very happy with whatever you're going to do. That's kind of my thing. Like, tell us what you what you think it's worth or whatever, and then I'm probably going to pay triple anyways because it's like I'm very appreciative of what you just did, and we make too much money around here. So <laughs> we appreciate your service in this entire thing. It's going to help us out. But if we, we should brainstorm a little bit and put together what we have poopies do. Got to be at the Connor, Thunderdome. He and Connor should do some stuff together for sure. Come well, on. maybe Come we on. just give him like a thousand bucks to like cut off his forearm with like a machete or something like that. <laughs> Pay for the medical cost post as well. well. Two grand at least. Yeah, two, okay, two grand. <laughs> it sounds like he might be game for it. <laughs> like clean off? You cut it clean off? No, just from like the forearm down. <laughs> Like, oh, yeah, the, like slice the, it off. Bossy oh, Python's yeah. holy well, grail. Ty, Ty was doing this emailing with the guy. <laughs> yeah. So you can kind of sense a little <laughs> where Ty lies in the whole situation. It was a whole song and dance. It was. Thing. I thought it was a pretty clear cut. Just like, hey, can poopies come on Thursday <laughs> afternoon? <laughs> Not so much. It was a full. Hey, he's just poopies is figuring it out though. He's only been international superstar for a year or so, so he's just trying to feel his way through it. Listen, we're lucky if we get poopies on. <laughs> we will pay for a stunt from poopies. Has any show done five or six minutes straight on poopies? Is what he's been up to? <laughs> I don't know. It's will people start paying poopies for stunts though? And Listen, how mad are people that haven't seen the new movie? Wow, well, have no idea who we're talking about. That is a shame. The it's a new jackass. jackass. I haven't seen it. I have no idea who it is, but I enjoy this combo a lot. His name's Poopy. Oh. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> and he got his hand almost bitten off by a shark during Shark Week. There are not, that's, I mean, that's the beginning of it. If you just watch him throughout the entire movie, both as somebody else is doing a stunt and he's doing a stunt, mm-hmm. you learn a lot about Poopies quickly. I don't know if Poopies is all there, but I'm excited for Poopies to come and do a stunt one time. I got five on it. You'll put five bucks in? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, me too. Sounds like it's worth it. 
Okay, five hundred from Foxy, five hundred from what? Diggs. Whoa. That's a thousand at least. No, 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 five dollars. Dumpy, no, 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 Dumpy will put up one chain. Ty, <laughs> I'll I'll all for one. If we can cut Poopy's arm off, <laughs> yeah. I'll. I'll yeah. I don't want to cut <laughs> somebody's arm off. Forearm, I'll give two. I'll give two <laughs> chains I for do a not, forearm. I do not want to lose. <laughs> I'll. Raise mine to ten dollars if we can cut his arm off. <laughs> I do not. You guys are disgusting. Yeah, Let's I talk about come on now. I'm sure if he sees this, he'll come on. Poopies, right? we're not cutting off your fucking arm. All what right? if he just peels the skin off like Schwarzenegger and <laughs> T2? All right. The NFL had its schedule release yesterday. AJ Hawk. Did you know that there's a section of human beings on this planet who, if you cut your grass, you are the worst human being on the earth. What? How? Where? Because it's bad for the. Bad for the planet. You should just let the planet be as is. Fuck you off. Fuck Damn it. You're, you're, it's like when you cut dead ends on your hair. Mm. That you're, you're, you're making it more healthy. You don't have to tell me, dude. Bro, to my that. lawn stinks. I do not focus on the cutting of it now. Even back whenever I was in uh, the neighborhood that I lived in, I was terrible. I was a terrible neighbor. I did not take care of it. I let it grow out. It was by far the worst lawn in the entire place. The guy that cut it every single week had the nicest, freshest, purest grass of all time. Mm -hmm. You're, you care more for the land than those people. Apparently, you kill bees if you cut grass and okay. uh, you can't not, walk in the grass either. Thing. I'm a I'm a team bee guy though, so let's. And that's a whole another. Nick, put your please, phone away, Nick. Bud. Are we not all team Need bees? The bees got to be team yeah, honeybee. Where, where team are bees? the Fuck bees? Fuck wasps, but team bee all the way. Yeah, wasps are just little fucking terrorists of the sky, like those Canadian geese. <laughs> Well, if they're in the backyard while I'm mowing on my fucking deer, I'm gonna slice that thing's brains in two. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, pal. Yeah. It's fucking it. mowing season. We Move along. Bees. Is that what they're mad about? Is it? Were you slicing? Be Why did you have to describe? <laughs> I thought you were talking about. Well, geese. I was just thinking, talking about the queen or the, the geese. The no, geese, the goose. not the bees. No, the bees. It, what, no. Hey, whatever comes in my fucking path. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking of oh, the yeah. rotor head just going around, just slicing of any insect, really, maybe a squirrel or something, just slicing their head <laughs> no, right no, in no, two. No, 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 Ty, Ty can't. Ty, not not the, the bees. bees or Hold on, Ty. Props for your deer to run on. Oh, AJ's got a question. Here we go. Quick, I just want to know, Ty, because this has happened to me, and I've I've never seen anybody do it. I I hope you're not doing this, Ty. If you're at a stop sign or whatever, and all the cars are stopped, and you have like. 15 geese slowly waddling across the street. Ty, you don't jam the gas. No, <laughs> no. Come on. Who does that? Nobody does Come that. Come on. Nobody I haven't seen anybody do it, but Ty made me think he may be there. Yeah, well, you did have a little serial killer tendency there, the way you were describing well, your John Deere taking a tractor and another around your lawn yeah. there. Nah, it's a bee. Yeah, that's the water Then you said squirrel. Him. Then you said that. Well, hey, if he, tries to, if he runs under, what am I going to do? Well, you don't you have to I'm celebrate the, the win. It, it, it certainly well, not. I tell you what, I'm also not fucking up my lines in my backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that one? Wife runs out there. Dahmer. Dahmer was in the woods. Oh, yeah. yeah, well, he's cutting up the squirrel. That's what you're talking about. No, that's what you're no, talking no, about. no. Exactly I'm not dismembering them with my hands. I'm Waterloo, saying. Waterloo, Iowa. With your penis, Dis maybe. Uh, Whoa. Jesus. Whoa. <laughs> right. Uh, there's no reason. That gone. What's so funny? It turned What's, him into zombies. All right. All right. I we're out of here. All right. We're back in four minutes. Yeah, we will answer some phone calls. Let's go to break. On the other side.